Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss a scenario based interview question on tools availability for different access groups in Pega. Let's get started in the topic. So you have access groups and you have uh, different kinds of tools in Pega that are available. So tools are nothing but like Tracer, Clipboard, Live UI, Accessibility Performance. So these are the options. So for a few users like uh, end users, we won't be providing this uh, Tracer or clipboard and uh, live way features a few of the access groups like managers they might be having some extra permissions for them so to illustrate like which user or which access group have this and which access group does not have this feature how to check so you can't be sitting uh, and seeing each and every access group and uh, check all the privileges so for that to ease our way of doing Pega has given a feature under organization security access manager tools this is the path where you have to click and you can see here view and change access to application tool functions so for user manager you have dictionary and reports and these are the access group that are available for this application so based on your application context these access groups will be displayed so these are the three access groups and if you want to change uh, for the other access group you can give this and this access group is inherited for these two access groups that's why these two are list listed these are two roles and if you want to see for all the access group click on the all access group and you can see like cosmos authors or cosmos uh, users and you can select this and you can see what are the operators that are available under this now i am selecting this access group for this you can see a dictionary and reports these are like under dictionary this is adverse under reports like provide criteria on some review or something and this is administrative and development category in which you can see application distribution clipboard feedback message to report security tracer user interface for example you can see here three variations full green tick is full access and this yellow color mark is conditional access and this red color cross mark is no access you can see over here also the categories in this and if you see here tracer in tracer advanced tracer options basic tracer option and user remote uh, tracer so for the few of the access groups you want to for a few of the rules you want to give only remote trace option but not the other two you can give those by selecting the respective rules and this is user interface where you can see preview button run button live ui button and this is save as button as well and this is clipboard in clipboard we have some option called as execute an activity on a page in a clipboard that is available based on this and this is feedback gadget and this is message queue system so suppose you want to modify some jms queues or mqs you can see whether the respective role or the respective access group have that option or not and this is security where you can see rule security analyzer and uh, system policy settings as well this is rules and rule sets it, this is mainly for private checkout option and this is reports where you can see optimized query and optimized schema uh, and uh, you have an option to hear this option right under system database optimize schema so these two options uh, whether you have this or not optimize schema and optimize property so you can check whether these particular features are available for your respect access group or not by viewing this here just you will view categories and the options that are available but you can't modify it if you want to modify you have to open the respective roles and see here this is a dependent role on this and you can check here and if you want to add you can click on plus icon and you can add directly so this is all about this uh, tools access manager for different access groups hope you have learned a new concept stay tuned for this channel thanks for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and share, like, comment my videos.